What's up golf fans? And today we're going to be covering the Swing Caddy SC200 versus the SC300. In this video we're going to be looking at our first impressions, key features of the SC200, improvements made by the SC300, pros and cons of each, other devices we would consider and which device we recommend buying. As always, thanks for watching our videos and if you like the content, don't forget to subscribe. First impressions and these are radar devices that sit 5 yards behind you as you take your shot and it gives you key metrics on each shot that you take at the driving range. The main advantage is knowing how far you can hit each club. So if you know the distance to the green, you can pull out the exact club that you need and you can take a full swing with confidence. And using launch monitors and GPS devices is what allowed me to really improve my game quickly. Swing Caddy are a trusted brand. They've been through a couple of iterations of these devices from the SC100 through to the 300 and the devices are quite similar to a phone in stature. Key features of the SC200 and it's a Doppler radar that's going to measure your swing speed, ball speed, carry distance, smash factor and loft angle. This one has a vertical design and it comes with a stand to sit on the ground five yards directly behind you for accurate readings. It improves on the SC100 with a barometric pressure monitor for enhanced accuracy. It's got three modes, so it's got a practice mode that allows you to just hit your shot and it will tell you the distance. Target, where you can set a target distance and see how close you come to it. And random mode will shout out a random distance and you select the correct club and try to hit the shot that distance. Accuracy is always going to be the key with launch monitors and we found the SC200 to be almost just as accurate as more expensive devices to within a yard or two. The device calls your shot metrics to you out loud after each shot and it comes with four AA batteries uh, to power the unit and you can practice at the driving range with this or you can practice indoors with a hitting net as well. Pros and cons of the SC200 and it's a highly accurate device to within five yards. It calls your yardages out loud and it's got different game modes which offer a lot of fun at the driving range and it's competitively priced at 350. The downside, it needs four AA batteries and you don't know when they're gonna run out. The screen is hard to read in the sunlight and there's no mobile phone app to collect your data over time to see how much you're improving. Key improvements of the SC300 so it now gives two new metrics in the launch angle and apex of your shots. It's a horizontal design as opposed to the vertical one and it still stands five yards behind you. It's a smaller device at eight by six by four inches and it's now got a lithium battery that you recharge through the USB port. So no more AA batteries and it connects to the downloadable app that records your club and shot stats over time which is probably the biggest improvement for us as you can see your game improving and you can see patterns in your data over time it calls out the yardages much faster than the SC200 it's still got the three practice modes that we think are a lot of fun and will get you out in the range a lot more it's a highly accurate device and the downloadable app is also optional so you don't have to use it like you would with the Flightscope Mevo and overall this is a highly accurate device with good battery time and it's worth the extra $150 in our opinion than the SE200. Advantages of the 300 and this one is still highly accurate within 5 yards. It calls out your yardages and gives you the data much quicker. It connects to your phone through Bluetooth and it passes the device to the app almost immediately as well and building up your data over time allows you to see how much you're improving and it's a better design and the USB battery is much better than the 200. The cons is that it's expensive at $500. The screen is hard to read if you're in sunlight. It lacks the GPS device functionality of something like the Garmin G80 and it can miss some of your wedge shots. Other devices that we would consider and the Garmin G80 combines a launch monitor and a GPS device in one. The launch monitor measures club speed, ball speed, smash factor and swing tempo 
and the GPS device measures slope. It has a virtual play mode, so you can virtually play 35,000 courses, which is a lot of fun. It's slightly less accurate than the SC300, and it will get you to within 10 yards of accuracy. And some people have said 15, but we've found it to be 10. And then the Garmin Approach S62 is the latest watch from Garmin. And it doesn't provide a launch monitor, but this is one of our favorite products on the market at the moment. It has a digital caddy, heart monitor, it measures slope, it has a large color touchscreen that will give you the distance to any position on a golf course, it offers contactless payments, the battery life will last for three rounds, you get quick change straps and downloadable interfaces for a different look and feel every time, and this one also costs $500, but it's a really innovative and one of the best watches on the market right now. Which device would we buy? So if you're looking for the top of the range personal launch monitor in the growing $500 category, the SC300 is an excellent device if accuracy is the most important thing you're looking for. It's more accurate and faster than the SC200 and the phone app to measure your data over time is a big step up. If you're just looking for a basic launch monitor, the SC200 will get the job done for $150 cheaper. If we had to pick one device, it would definitely be the Garmin G80, as it offers good value combining a GPS device and a Doppler radar launch monitor. And both of these devices are top of the range, and just the extra value that you get from being able to combine the two different devices in one um, makes it much better value for us at the $500 mark than the SC300. So we'd definitely be going with the Garmin G80. As always, thanks for watching our videos and if you like the content, don't forget to subscribe.